Hi guys, um, it's just as easy for me to record what I'm doing because I can't see um, into the cell without the use of the microscope and the camera so it's just as easy for me to record it and uh, and it's when I see it in the video editor uh, that I um, get to see the results um, but I just thought I'd show you the setup uh, that I've got here so um, it's a very sunny day outside I've got the uh, the blinds closed but I've got the little cell here so I've got the camera and the image of that will be Put the right way up when I edit the, um, the video so that's illuminated from above um, the uh, supply I've got a little power supply uh, behind there and a little 12 volt supply that's powering the electronics there and then um, the pulse is added that's a 4046 phase lock loop I'm just using the um, uh, the oscillator to drive into uh, a rising edge trigger that I'm using to set the pulse width. Uh, that's firing into this little uh, bird's nest here. That's yeah, it's a bit like a um, uh, switch mode power supply, um, but uh, it's just a little transformer that I've wound. I'll put the circuit at the end of uh, this uh, video if I remember. I've killed the. Um, uh, that ringing that I showed you in uh, either the last or the one before video so uh, I've got a, a tidier output um, I've got the scope connected directly across these two leads and now the leads that go up to fire uh, the what I'm going to call the cell um, sorry about the sun on the or the light on the scope there um, do apologize for that um, can I get rid of that? Got all sorts of things hanging off the camera. Um, check focal length. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, the it's a times ten probe that I've got, um, and um, what I'll do is I'll start both camera. I'll start the other camera. So I'll just give myself a uh, uh, a timing signal. I'll just get it set up. And it gets complicated. So I'm recording on the uh, the second camera at uh, 60 frames per second, and uh, just give myself some time impulses. Okay, sorry about that. Right, well. Uh, Put some volts on. Oh, I'm straight in it. Um, okay, so I can't see the um, what's happening on the bubbles yet. So let's have a look. Uh, the scope is on um, five microseconds per division, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven divisions. And um, we're on um, uh, one volt per division with a times 10 probe so that's 10 volts per division so uh, one two three four five about 50 volts and uh, right I'm just going to change the the timing um, so I'm doing this so that I've got the um, uh, this waveform and the associated um, bubble activity and I'm hoping to see something that might be interesting. And I'm, I'm just moving along uh, one division, so five microseconds at a time, to see if there's anything interesting. And there's no real current flow. Um, my snubber resistor that's taking out that uh, ringing is getting warm, I'm aware of that. Um, okay. 
so uh, so I don't know what's happening in this cell right that's that's going into a current limit now incidentally the um, that's uh, almost at, well it's 28 volts at about 350 milliamps there and I say I've got a snubber resistor getting hot so I'm going to back off there and change the time base and come down to 10 microseconds per division all right we're getting some other ringing taking place there um, I'm not quite sure what's what's going on there I think that just might be multi triggering doing something different now I think that's an issue with my triggering so okay that's um, well, you can probably hear it now it's become audible microseconds five zero microseconds per division but the the triggering's a little all over the place uh, it'll be interesting to marry these two together so as I can see what's happening I'm coming down now to 0 0.1 milliseconds per division so 100 microseconds per division with obviously a bit of uh, uh, wobbly now. I'm now on 0 0.2 uh, milliseconds per division. That's 0 0.5 milliseconds per division. And that's one uh, millisecond per division. So I'm not expecting to see any activity around there. Just bring that back up a bit, and um, but I, I have got some control over the um, over the size of that pulse. Let me give it a. Uh, I haven't been. No, I think uh, the way I've got it set up, I can make it smaller, but I can't make it significantly larger. I can't imagine uh, a tiny pulse being uh, uh, doing much. I'm uh, back on. Um, uh, 10 microseconds per division there by the way okay so that's a one little pulse every 10 microseconds twenty microseconds thirty Okay, I'll probably change this uh, drive circuit so as I've got uh, something larger, um, a, a, a bigger gap. Okay, well you're going to see it as um, as soon as I have, I guess, because um, it's not until I actually come to uh, uh, see this on the computer that I'll know what I've got, and then I'm only a, a little step away from. Um, uploading it to YouTube. So um, let's hope there's something interesting in there guys because otherwise I'm wasting everybody's time. Okay, uh, get rid of those volts. Just turn that down.
Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.